Okay, so this week on the vlog, we're talking about students and manufacturing. Hello and welcome to 43 Forward, the 43 North vlog here on YouTube, Facebook, and wherever else you may be watching videos. I'm your host, Nate Benson, and I still am not having my vest. I, my vest is MIA. It's way too hot, but we're not talking about vests. This week, we're talking about students in manufacturing. No, we're not talking about putting students to work. Well, in the sense of, like, we're not actually putting them to work this second. Well, hmm. On a regular basis, we host students from across the city of Buffalo and around Western New York here at the Incubator for fireside chats with some of the entrepreneurs working out of this space. It allows students an up-close look at what's going on here at the Incubator and a chance for them to learn what it's like to be an entrepreneur. Our director of events, Colleen Heidinger, explains it a lot better than I do, so I'll let her take it away. We, as an organization, decided that we really need to put some focus on the students of Western New York. We're very conscious that we're tasked with running a competition and supporting our winners, but it's, we have to be conscious of what's to come, and that is going to be through our next generation of students. So the folks that'll be entrepreneurs and creating more innovative city for us in the future are in our schools right now. Um, so when they come to our space, it's a tour, just to kind of open their eyes to you know different workspaces. And then we sit down and have a fireside chat. So a, a very intimate conversation with one of our winners. I mean, how many people did you help today? What are you doing today? What were you doing at work that really helped people or changed people's lives? We need to get to them as soon as we can, right? It's proven that the younger you open kids' eyes to entrepreneurship and just kind of the comfort and success that could come with an idea that they have, the more apt they are to become an entrepreneur or just know that it's an outlet out there. We're not, we're not preaching to the students that you have to be an entrepreneur. We're just kind of opening their eyes to what it means to be one. We want to fill Shays with students for that morning session. Last year we had over half of Shays filled with them. Uh, about 1,800. We want to we want to strive for 3,000. So when our when our finalists come out, Chase is full of students. So like Colleen said, we want as many of you to show up at Chase for 43 North Finals as possible. In the next few weeks, we'll explain just how to do that. So stay tuned. Now on to manufacturing robots. Actually, robots are getting a bad rap these days because everyone seems to think that in the next few decades they're going to be taking all of the jobs. And I, for one, welcome our new robot overlords. Perhaps one day they'll need a weekly vlog host to entertain them, because all humans will be rendered useless. But Buffalo Manufacturing Works is working with Back USA to incorporate robots, or cobots actually, into their existing workforce. We spoke with Christian Bach and Nadine Powell to explain just how this is all going to work. The Back USA collaboration is a great example of how uh, Buffalo Manufacturing Works can work with a startup uh, company. So how the engagement worked there is we had an initial meeting with BAC and they said, hey, you know, we are committed uh, to this, this mission of creating jobs um, while being the only U.S.-based manufacturer of tablets. How are ways that we can infuse technology into our operation, but by continuing to enable job creation and augmenting the human capital we have on the floor? Uh, and we said, perfect, this is a great opportunity for us to work together. You know, for us, it is a journey. Uh, and it's a journey that does not necessarily have uh, a, a single endpoint in mind. Uh, we want to be continuously expanding. So this is a part of uh, a larger plan for us. We benefit from that collaboration every single day. You know, we've had a tremendous amount of success partnering with local companies. Um, we thought that we were going to have to go global for expertise on our Cobotics program. Um, not at all. That was right here in Buffalo. Uh, and, and we see it every single day. So we had the opportunity to augment their human operators, or builders as they call them, take away things that were causing ergonomic issues, while allowing back to also ramp up production volumes and keep up with their increasing sales. So a little bit of a different story about how you implement automation. So automation and job creation are two words that unfortunately aren't said together in a sentence but there really are neat opportunities now with the augment of cobots uh, to do just that. So remember, robots can be useful. Be sure to check out 43north.org. We publish a lot of stories each week, including our new series, Founder Friday, where we talk with founders about what it's like to work, the early days of their startup, and all the tools that they use on a weekly basis to get the job done. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to subscribe to the 43 North YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future episodes. I'm Nate Benson, and we'll see you at the next one. I'm thinking it's about to rain.
And I, for one, welcome our new... Okay.